MB had on Monday night a triple double with blocks against the Raptors. He finished with 27, wow. 14, and 10, and he did it all in 29 minutes. Gentlemen, it's your last chance to jump on the bandwagon with me, Rookie of the Year. <laughs> uh, right now, he's a, a runaway favorite. Uh, there's room. Listen, I, I listen. He's playing well enough to win Rookie of the Year. We just gotta we gotta find middle ground with with the criteria. What do we respect about these awards? Is it winning? Mm -hmm. Is it numbers? Is it a combination of both? Does different guys have their own set of rules? Because he's doing some historical, incredible things. However, it hadn't moved the needle. They're still in dead last in the West, and so we got to understand that yes, he's a young player, and they're in a rebuild, and they're going to put talent around him in the future. But at present, at this present moment. You have a guy that doesn't have the numbers that's as gaudy as his, but he's playing better basketball on a better basketball team. And he's the number two guy, you know, in, in the second in the second place team in the West that can possibly finish this season in a number one spot. So we just got to figure out what the criteria is and what do we respect about these awards? Because if it's just numbers, if that's the criteria, then Wimby should be the rookie of the year. But if we're talking about the totality of everything, it should go to Chet. Yeah, I got <laughs> I got some numbers here. And listen, you can't go wrong either way. Wemby is more of a crazy talent. Like, if I see both of them are playing, I'm going to the Spurs game because I'd rather watch him play. The shit he does is out of this world. <laughs> the, the triple doubles with the 10 blocks, it's nuts. Like, he does things on a basketball floor I, I've never seen anybody do. But we're talking about the numbers here, right? Wemby's averaging 20, 10, three assists, and three and a half blocks in 29 minutes, which is nuts. 47 from the field, 32 from the from the three. Okay, they're 11 and 43. They're dead last in the conference, which to me that matters because you're not going to give the MVP to someone dead last. You're not going to even give the All Star uh, vote to someone dead last. You look at Chet, 17 points a game. It's only three less. Eight rebounds. It's only two less. 2.6 blocks. It's only one block less. And the same amount of assists with a way better field goal percentage at 54 percent. And a way better three-point percentage at 40%. And they're a half game out of first place in the same exact conference against the same exact teams that they're playing with a younger, just as young of a team. So when I'm looking at it, the the, the stat lines nightly from, from Wemby are crazy. And you see a triple-double like this where it's one game and it really is out of this world. But when you look at the landscape of everything they've both done, the stats aren't far off. The minutes aren't far off. He, Wimby plays 29 minutes a game. Chet plays 30 minutes a game. So he really only plays one more minute and is almost just as productive on a winning team. So to me, I think Wimby is going to be a better pro. I think he's going to, to be, you know, something we've never seen before. But the rookie of the year, to me, it's it's got to be a balance of winning. You're, you're looking at pretty similar stats on the best team against pretty similar stats on the worst team. I got to go with Chet still until until they win some more games. I don't accept this argument. I, <laughs> I was thinking of, I was thinking about you when I put that all together like yeah, what's, I, know. What? I I could see you going, "Okay, I've got some numbers here. I'll figure it out." Um Shams, you watch a lot of basketball. What's the most impressive thing when you watch Wemby? So, Victor Wembanyama to me, it's only a matter of time before he gets a quadruple double in a game. Four players in league history have had a quadruple double. Uh, two of them, David Robinson, Hakeem Olajuwon, they're all tied with one triple double, uh, a quadruple double, I should say. He already had a triple double the other night. He's, he's shown he can, he can do that. But the fact that he was, he's able to get five assists, he can score, he can rebound, he can pass, he can block shots, he can play one through five. This whole season has been about natural progression for him. I think Chet, Chet Holmgren, you saw him come out the gates very strong. For Victor Wembanyama, it's been really a buildup all season. You've seen him play 30 minutes a few times over the last several weeks. And I, from my knowledge, he is eligible to get in, into the 30s. It's just about the games. Will the season dictate that? To me, it's only a matter of time. Could happen this year, could happen next year, that he gets that quadruple-double, that he potentially becomes the all-time leader in quadruple-doubles. And like we have the triple double leaders, we could very much have a Victor Wembanyama history setting for quadruple doubles because he can Watch. very much do it very soon. That sounds it's, silly. And still not win rookie of the year. <laughs> He's gonna win rookie of the year. I just I know he is. I, you can't punish a rookie just because the team around him isn't as good as the other guys. Ooh. That's silly. 
He's better. You can, you can when one team is a legit contender and one team is literally looking at the number one pick again. Like it's like, of course you're gonna put up good numbers. Your team stinks. <laughs> 